This lesson is about how to hold your euphonium or your baritone um, and there's a few different points that we need to think about as we are holding our instrument. Um, the first thing is that uh, like all brass instruments your left hand and left arm hold the weight of the instrument and in the case of the euphonium and the baritone it holds it against um, our bodies okay um, in a big big hug. Our second thing we need to think about is that our fingers and our right hand sit on top of the valves and come from behind the instrument. Lastly is that the instrument comes up to us. Okay, we don't bend down to it, it always comes up to us. So if we break it down a bit further, um, holding the instrument with your left, arm, left hand, left arm, it comes around the front of the instrument and you know that because there's all these tubes and grips onto the lead pipe or to the tuning slide. Okay, and it's nice and close to our torso. All right, our right hand comes from behind the instrument and then fingertips on top. And on this instrument has a thumb rest or a thumb ring that I can put my thumb. It's super important to keep that C shape, okay? So you can play really fast passages nice and easily. All right. Last thing, our last thing is to bring the instrument up to you. So at the moment, I've, I'm, I'm quite comfortable holding this instrument, but it's nowhere near my lips, and that's what I need to get my mouth close to that mouthpiece. So it comes to me. I can lift it up, and then again, holding it, hugging it, and really nice and close, or if, uh, if you need, you can pop a cushion on your lap and then you can help support that uh, up to you. All right, just to go over it again, left hand, left arm goes around the instrument. Right hand comes from behind, sits on top of the valves and the instrument comes to us. Uh, before we go, um, make sure the instrument is sort of tilted a little bit, angled away, not pointing at the ceiling angle away so that um, I can see my music that I need to play and also so that I can see the conductor.